boring. <laughs> Seen it? <laughs> Dehydrate this, you twit. <laughs> hey, I like that infomercial. We're going back. We're not watching some stupid infomercial about beef jerky dehydrating. <laughs> hey, who made you the king of the remote? Will you two stop it? You're driving me crazy. You're acting like a couple of babies. <laughs> Looking for these? <laughs> There's nothing more appealing to a woman than a man who plays in a band. The candid colored clown they call the Sandman tiptoes to my room every night just to sprinkle stardust and to whisper and go to sleep. Everything is all right. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Kevin. Hi. <laughs> hey. Jamie's serenading Brenda again. No, he's not. I snuck out the fire escape during Brenda, Brenda, Bo Benda. What are you doing? I'm putting my friends into this electronic address thing my brother just sent me for my birthday. Your birthday? <laughs> what are you talking about? Your birthday's until March 23rd day. You don't know when my birthday is, do you? Of course I do. And when is it then? It's uh, the 22nd. The 23rd? Uh, the 23rd? Yeah, hello, that's what I said. Yeah, it's on the 19th, Kevin. Well, if you can't keep it straight, how do you expect me to? You all ready to go? Go where? Last night I asked you if you'd go to dinner with Karen and Bob tonight, and you said, yeah, sure. Wait a minute. Last night we... You know, last night. So? So did you ask me before or after? I don't know, before, I guess. Well, Sarah, before I'd say yes to anything. <laughs> after is when you get a realistic response. After is when I get snoring. Anyway, I pass. Bob's a know-it-all, and Karen has that huge head. Spending all our time with your friends. What are you talking about my friends? They're our friends. Sticky Watson is not my friend. Yeah. Well, what do you expect? You laughed at his poetry. There once was a girl with angina. <laughs> are you coming with me or what? I would love to go. But to be perfectly straight with you, your friends are so hip and so smart that they make me feel inadequate. You're lying. Yeah. <laughs> the truth is, we go to a restaurant, they hand us a menu, and I can't read! <laughs> there! Are you happy now? Bye, Kevin. Okay. Hey, Jamie. Hey, sir. In dreams, I talk with you. Out there, Mrs. Henshaw. It would be a shame if anything happened to it. Hey, Harry, you've been married a long time, right? Let me ask you something. You spend a lot of time with your wife's friends? Hell no. And uh, does she get all over you for it? Marilyn? Nope, never. 
See, now that's the difference between the women of our respective generations. Sarah's driving me nuts about it. You want to hear the real difference between our generations? Yeah, sure. You're a moron and I'm not. <laughs> I have an annual barbecue at the house for all of Marilyn's friends. Oh, wait, I... I see. You get all the inane conversation out of the way in one shot. No, even better. When the last guest arrived and everyone's seen my face, I slip off and lock myself in the powder room, where I stand silently in the dark for three hours. <laughs> then when everyone's leaving, I drift back with the crowd and wave goodnight. Nice talking to you, Irene. Sharp haircut, Carl. You ought to write a book, Harry. You spend 30 years honing a vacant disposition that pays off. You know, 90% of me isn't even talking to you right now. My, my, my. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Just to avoid his wife's friends, the guy stands motionless in a dark bathroom for three hours? Yeah. He's a genius. <laughs> so, you know, I was thinking, I have to do something for Sarah's birthday anyway. I might as well kill two birds with one stone. Hey, are you throwing her a party? Saturday night, a surprise party for all her friends. Hey, yeah. If you want to go for something sophisticated, I can stop by the adult party store and pick up that erotic pinata. <laughs> The idea of Sarah swinging a broomstick at a phallus, it makes me uneasy. All right, forget the pinata. Anyway, it's gonna be a surprise, okay? Don't forget. This is gonna be great. Girls, me, alcohol, my bedroom. Hell, any two of those, it would still be great. <laughs> a huge favor. Kevin's throwing me a surprise party Saturday. No, he's not. I don't know what you're talking about. No, it's okay. Uh, he talked about it in his sleep last night. At least I hope it's a party. He was telling all the women to hide before Sarah gets home. All right, what do you need? Well, this isn't easy for me to ask you, but would you go out on a date with Jamie? <laughs> You know that I rarely curse. <laughs> You're right. It's wrong for me to ask you to do me a favor like that. Brent, I'm gonna write down a number. <laughs> I'm not taking your money. Well, then call it my birthday present. Come on, it's the first time that Kevin is making an effort with my friends. And if Jamie's there, he'll... You know, Jamie has a way of taking a party and making it... over. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, come on, Brenda. Jamie's nice and he really likes you. He's funny and he's cute. Come on, Brenda, just go out with him. You're Jamie in a Sarah suit, aren't you? Senior Pudding? <laughs> Jamie? Jamie? Brenda? Jamie, you want to go out with me on Saturday night? I don't know. Why don't you take off all your clothes and ask me again? <laughs> God, I'm awake. So, Saturday night? Are you serious? Yeah, what do you say? Wait, wait Sarah's party's Saturday. You could be my date. Oh, no. I I'd rather go out and show you off. <laughs> I, I can't miss Sarah's party. I mean, she's like a sister to me. It would crush her if I didn't show up. I'll wear my little red dress. 
I'll wear my little red pants. Okay, perfect. Uh, Jamie? Where does this stuff keep coming from? So, you ready to go? Yeah, I can enter the last of these later. What about all those? No, these are the losers and lowlifes I do not want in my life anymore. Old boyfriends, bad neighbors, people who knew me when I wore culottes. So Jamie left a single red rose by my door. Really? That's sweet. Yeah, but it was attached to the weirdest looking pinata. <laughs> Oh, you left, sir. What's with the party hat? Oh, <laughs> it was uh, Jamie's little buddy upstairs' birthday today. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's uh, this many. <laughs> Man, that was close. You think she knows? <laughs> Wait a minute. I think she already knew. Look at this. She left a Rolodex here, so I would know which friends to invite. <laughs> Hey, there's me. <laughs> what does it matter if it's a surprise anyway, as long as the party makes her happy? Hello. Yes, is this David Smith ass? <laughs> oh, it's just David Smith? <laughs> Man is by nature a party animal. Hi, I'm Kevin. Hey, I'm Wayne. <laughs> I used to work on Sarah's car. <laughs> hey, everyone, look who's here. It's Wayne. <laughs> oh, man. It's like one of those prison mixers all over again. Hey, Rockefeller, where's the good scotch? At the good party. <laughs> so how do you know Sarah? I used to groom her cat. She has a cat. Not anymore. <laughs> so how do you know, Sarah? Well, I used to work on her teeth until she sued me for gross malpractice. Really? <laughs> what went wrong? Well, you're just full of a lot of questions, aren't you? Cat killer. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you all for coming tonight. Why are we here? <laughs> because you are Sarah's dearest and closest friend. Well, that's just sad. <laughs> okay. Well, look, when Sarah gets here, we're all gonna say... Surprise. Come on, Come on people. Surprise! Surprise. I, I can't hear you! Surprise! Perfect. Shh, 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 here just had it. Kevin, this is so sweet. <laughs> oh, my God. Isn't it great? Where did you find these people? Oops, I must have found your Rolodex. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, oh boy, I missed you. I only left you about a hundred messages. And the letters? Couldn't you at least have responded to one I left you on your windshield? <laughs> All right. Uh, the important thing is that we're back together now. Happy birthday, what? baby. <laughs> I've got to go to the John. OK, so that brings us up to 1989. Or, as I like to call it, year of the nervous breakdown. <laughs> Look, my uh, drink seems to have evaporated. i got to get some air. Excuse me. Hey! <laughs> it's Wayne! Wayne the Mechanic. Uh, you know, I always thought you were pretty cute. You want to go out sometime? Wayne, this is my boyfriend's apartment. Oh. Uh, so you want to go out sometime? <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hey. How's the party? Oh, you know, at my sixth birthday, there was a pony. It went berserk, and my dad had to shoot it. <laughs> that was better. <laughs> I'll put this inside. Take your time. Sarah. 
Brent, I'm sorry to put you in this position with Jamie tonight. Uh, actually, I'm having a really great time. Really? Yeah, he took me out to a nice dinner. We talked about interesting things. He made me laugh. <laughs> it's been the perfect evening. Ironic, huh? <laughs> Is this your side? Remember that time at the movies when you went out to get popcorn and you never came back? Uh, no. Well, I remember. Do you know how many times I sat through that movie waiting for you to come back? I saw Deborah Winger die four times. I envy her right now. <laughs> Kevin? I know you're in the bathroom. Kevin, come out. Ke Okay, okay, what's wrong? I hate these people, that's what's wrong. Come, come in here with me. I've got a six pack and a little TV. Kevin, I want these people out of here. Sarah, you're the one that said you wanted me to spend time with your friends. Well, I'm spending time with them. Kevin, these are not my friends. What are you talking about? You invited everyone from my reject pile. These are all the horrible, miserable people that I want out of my life. This still counts as spending time with your friends, right? <laughs> so why does it count for anything? Of course it does. These are perfectly nice people. Look, look at this guy right here. Hey. Hi, I'm Kevin. Hi, I'm Jay. So, uh, how do you know Sarah? I lived with her for two years. <laughs> oh, so I, uh, it's been quite a while since you saw Sarah. Uh, I guess you better hope so, right? <laughs> <laughs> Party's over. Okay, everyone, thanks a lot. Good night. <laughs> I'm not leaving till I drink enough to cover my legal fees. <laughs> Dating's funny, huh? <laughs> We all have our own rhythm that says it's the right time to move the evening forward. You sent me signals and I misread them, that's all. It's as simple as that. We were talking about our moms. I know, and I've learned something. I've learned that the sofa doesn't pull out on the first date. Why do you have to push, Jamie? I mean, dinner was fun. We were having a great time. Just two people bonding. Jamie! I thought I saw a window there. I... Oh. This was a huge mistake. I don't know why I let Sarah talk me into this. I mean, it was a disaster. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up, back up. Sarah, what? She didn't want you at her party. Now I see why. So you didn't want to go out with me? Mm -mm. You were just doing this to keep me from Sarah's party? Mm -mm. How much further were you going to take this? No, really, I'm asking. Because I'm willing to forget that I know. Jamie, we need your help. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. We have to clear a room full of people. Naturally, we came to you. Are you sure it's okay with the birthday girl that I come to the party? Yeah, what are you talking about? Sarah didn't want me to go to her party, so she's making Brenda sleep with me. If you guys will get out of here. Come on, Jamie, I've got an apartment full of freaks. What do you say, pal? I don't know. I've been hurt this evening. I don't know if I'll ever be able to trust a woman ever again. Oh, Jamie, I'm sorry. It was wrong of me to mislead you. I, I should never have lied to you from the beginning. <laughs> I've decided to help. All right, everybody. Let's get this party started. What better way to get to know each other? Now, Kevin has an assortment of oils for your pleasure and safety. Please use it liberally, and as always, no smoking. You, help me spread out the love tarp. This is just the beginning of me ordering you around tonight, pretty boy. Now, a few ground rules. Nobody gets hurt unless you want to. No eye rolling, no judgment. Everyone is beautiful. 
Okay. After you decide which one of you is captain and which one of you is first mate, you'll each need a safety word. Mine is mahalo. All right, it's time for lights out. When they come back on, everyone should be looped up and ready to rock. Let's go. That's a new record. Jamie, thank you. Just once, I wish someone would stay. It's weird, huh? How people just go in and out of your lives. Hey, this will blow your mind. Frankie Spinoza. Oh, wow. Eighth grade. I forgot about that guy. Didn't he used to eat bike parts? That was Frank Bellina. We should call that guy sometime. Nah, I don't think he'd still do it. Hey, you know who I ran into? Ryan Alexander. Oh, yeah. what's that guy doing? Uh, he's married, he has two kids. He just made a fortune on an internet company. He just bought a mansion up on the lake, built a guest house for his parents, he got a tennis court, a pool. Started a foundation for underprivileged children. He lives with his parents? Mm. What a loser. 